Hey, orange one here. So we are with Bootsy here in a lab. Um, if you didn't watch the episode zero, basically we're a volunteer mutant somewhere in some lab. We got a little bit of chemistry and electronic skills, as well as lock picking. I'm hoping to be able to use those to be able to get out of here. So we got some, is, am I in a cell? Is that what this is? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Let's see, what do we have? Plastic bottle, I'll take that, and the chunk of steel, sure. We don't have very much right now, we literally are just like in, um, in clothes. <laughs> and we, we do at least have a wristwatch, so that's kind of nice. Uh, let's see. Can I look at it, maybe? Okay. Close middle door. Yeah. So I think we're gonna need to make like a locksmithing kit or something. We do have water there. We're not gonna consume it just yet because we don't need it just yet. But we're gonna hopefully be able to get out of here. There is a zombie there that has seen me. Dang. Well, I, was, I was hoping to not have to kick in the zombie's face without having any weapons or anything. Ooh, a microwave burrito, nice. Can I just eat that now? Yeah. Okay. Anything there? No, I'm gonna take the dust mask. If you're not familiar with what that is, it's basically like the COVID masks. <laughs> you know what I've also been reflecting on is that I used to do a lot more talking in my YouTubing and then I kind of stopped doing that for a while and I, I didn't have like things to talk about like I felt a little bit bad about that. So I, I have some some things to uh, share and Have you guys be able to talk about as well. Ooh, we got a radio. Nice. Okay Um, That's not gonna be of much use to me, but it could be Teleportation pad I mean I might need to teleport, is the thing. The nice thing though is that we're not freezing. You know? We we have that going for us. Okay, I peeked there using I like hold it I, I did like capital Z basically. Um some scissors. I don't know how that'll be useful, but I've got a feeling with the proficiencies. Ooh, exacto knife. Yeah, definitely gotta grab that. Um that I've got a feeling that items like scissors and whatnot are gonna have some pretty important functions. What is this right here? Green floor. Okay, so it's like safe. It looks like it's like I'm gonna fall through. Can I wear some of those safety glasses? Yeah, cool. How's my encumbrance? Yeah, I've got some encumbrance on my eyes now because of those, but trust me, they're worth it. You wanna have eye protection on in this game. <laughs> We do seem to be doing fairly well for ourselves. We got some nitric acid. I don't know when I would use that or if I can use that. Um, yeah, and we're starting to lose the ability to climb and whatnot. Okay, what do we have here? Autoclave pouch is nice. I mean, I'm not gonna be able to do anything with that, so maybe I shouldn't even be picking it up, to be honest, you know? Right. Um, so yeah, well, some of the stuff I wanted to talk about was I um, I was looking at a job potentially somewhere down in California, and oh my gosh, it's so crazy the difference in salary there to where I'm at currently in Oregon. Because I'm I'm teaching in one like metropolitan area, and I would be teaching in another one, but it is like just bananas the difference in salary and how much it costs to live, and also how much increase you get over lifetime of working at these different schools and yeah like basically Oregon offers way more mon money to people with masters um, degrees than just a bachelor's like it's like 10k more um, California it's like 1,000 more dollars <laughs> it's like it's not very much more okay we did find a way up there um, can I peek up there I can it's a big open room though, so that's scary. I don't know if, if I step out there what I'm gonna run into. So yeah, there's also a fire extinguisher there, right? 
Um, let's see. Can I pick that up and wield it? Yeah, we're taking that with us. Let's see what that does. I mean, it could be a semi-useful me melee weapon, but I also kind of doubt it. Um, we do have light here, which is very good. So I'm going to mark that. Because we can read off of this and we can craft in this. We can do all kinds of stuff. If I hold down shift and hit, I think, seven. Yeah, we got a couple different things that we can craft here. Oh my gosh, an EMP bomb. I can make that. That is crazy. I'm honestly pretty, uh, pretty interested in what we can we can do crafting wise, because we probably should do something. Um, electronics. Let's see what else could we do. I mean, we could make a flashlight. I got uh, some light bulbs and some copper wire, and yeah, I could. That's probably not a half bad idea. Can I? Yeah, I don't think I can actually get light bulbs though from uh, disassembling the furniture around me. Uh, how do you do this again? Deconstruct? Yeah, I don't have the ability to deconstruct. There's an autoclave just there as well, by the way. So if I was trying to autoclave, that's all I would need. Oh, a little dark room. Cool. Is this like a, a lab lab? This is like, I think, a proper lab space in the game. I know it seems kind of, that sounds kind of weird to say, but... Um, no thank you. Is that going to come out now? Did I just mess that up? I'm a little bit scared. I'm completely honest. That thing could totally end our character. <laughs> Bootsy is my shortest lived character. <laughs> See, this is also the hazard of being here, is that we have a very, very weak character running around a place that could totally just destroy them. Um, okay, I don't think the shocker's gonna see me. You're right. Um, uh, yes, actually. If those things are there, maybe we don't want to do that. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Where they can see me, at least. Um... Can I read here in peace? Yeah, okay. Kind of in peace. It sounds like there was something around us. So troglobite mutations and stuff. Okay. I don't think that the, oh, actually this will, oh, why I could increase my electronics even higher. I mean, if that is useful in my survival, then sure. We'll do it. I kind of feel like we should be moving up, but I'm also curious as to what we have around us. Ooh, there's a way down there. Yeah, I'm used to also being able to do some fighting, and like right now we really shouldn't do like any. Yeah, if I look at that, I don't get light bulbs by smashing those. Come on, Bootsy, show me uh, something. Oh, screwdriver. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Pretty good thing for this, this game, being able to craft with that. It's a teleportation pad. That's what I thought. Um, this looks like a better place to come up at, to be honest. Um, tainted meat just, like, lying there. You know, no big deal. I thought I heard something, but it could just have been my imagination. I'm a little bit bummed that we didn't explore a little bit more. Oh, there's there's a way up there actually. 
Yeah, so anyways, the it was kind of crazy, like, also with the salary stuff. Um, oh, there's a zombie right there. Because um, it's re one of these things that people don't realize is that teachers, your pay increase over your career is, like, it's, it's anarchy. It's super crazy. It's just the craziest thing I've ever seen. Um, long story short. Oh, is something chasing me? Is that something that could see me? Um, if you teach in a more expensive place, they need to have a higher starting salary for the newer teachers. And so um, the pay schedule, because it's all like, oh, oh geez, oh no. I should stop talking about pay schedules and pay attention. Looks like something's over there to the side as well. I'm gonna come down and go around. Oh my gosh, really? I'm gonna have to like run past you. Where's your friend? Your friends aren't here. Okay, we're good. I know I could probably fight them. I just like don't want to deal with like an infection or anything. Ignore. I can't open that, can I? No. If you smash these things open... Yeah. I think you get their contents if you smash them open, don't you? If they had something. Just wait until we get our breath. Yeah. Yeah, so like I worked like originally in an area that was like a little bit more rural. And because of that, when I started teaching there, I didn't get paid a whole lot. And it, it was like... I was fine with it. I thought it was like fair pay and everything. But now I'm like looking at going into some other places that have like <laughs> essentially like it's not that much higher pay, even though it should be. <laughs> you know, and then there's here's the issue is that if you change school districts, they'll only transfer five years of experience on the pay schedule. So you can actually have a huge decrease in pay even though you're teaching the same stuff and you're in a district that actually pays teachers more. Like if you had worked like for 10 years at one district and say you were making like 90k or something and then you transfer to another one and they're like well if you were still at that point in the pay schedule you'd be making like 110 but we're gonna put you down to year five so you're like at like 70k or something like that. And yes the pay increases are that are, are, you know, they're a lot smaller than in other industries. You don't get, you don't get much more. So there's a whole complicated mess of things with that. But it's, I, th I think it's kind of interesting, you know. And it has been found to be relatively fair compared to other thing, other ways of doing it of trying to like find pay. Okay, that's a broken console. It looked like a backpack to me. I swear. We are in a place that we could do some reading and there's some water here. Let's mark this as light as well. Can I maybe do... No, I'm not going to do that reading. If we did want to raise our electronic skill, we could do that there. I'm just going to take a second. I know that I should probably do this in between episodes, but I'm just gonna take a second and look at our options again. We could make a little taser possible. No, we don't have an integrated tool set or soldering iron. I don't luckily need that to make a, a weird little flashlight that sounds so jank. <laughs> I love it. But where do you get light bulbs? From cars? You know? Oh, we could actually drink some of that. We probably should. Thanks for the energy cola. Yeah, I don't like not having a flashlight at being in this lab. That is probably one of the things that's that's really throwing me off. Ooh, a battery. We're gonna start running out of volume though soon, aren't we? Oh look, there's another stair up. Cool. Well things seem to be working well for us with the whole dodging around the enemies strategy. Okay, I really don't like that room. That's that's a bad bad day waiting to happen there. <laughs> I've ever seen it, you know? 
Okay, let's see what else do we have here. Open. Yeah, I thought that there wasn't going to be enemies because I couldn't hear anything stepping when we made ourselves obvious. Can I peek? Yeah, I do want to make sure we're also looting. That is also my one concern is that I'm going to, through being scared of this place, like completely miss out on some opportunities. It's for us to grab some really good stuff that we normally would not be able to get. Okay. Seems that we're okay though. This lab seems to be much better than other labs that we, we were having in the other one. Yeah, I also was thinking just with the PK's rebalance that I didn't really want to play with it because it was, you know, constantly not updated to the recent versions and I wanted to play the recent stuff and I couldn't really with my, my world, you know. Oh, zombie security guard. That could be a problem. Can I just have a glance up here? Yeah, I think that just need to make sure that security guard doesn't um, mess this up too bad. Though with the wander spawns on, you can kind of lure them around, especially if it's dark like this. Uh, what level am I on? I'm on ne level negative two, negative one. That's kind of nice that I know that. And then I also know the surrounding areas. Kind of cool. Oh, if we can get to the top, we could uh, get to like a farm. There's actually a couple of them. Yeah, that would be really nice. Oh, is this CBMs? Oh, that's the time CB... Ah! Did they see me? I think they did. That's positive. We do have a bedroom right here. That's kind of nice. Like, we have places to sleep, and we have some food. The problem is, is trying to... Oh, water purification tablets? I'll take that. That will really help us, actually. Because we're going to get thirsty soon. We're probably going to need to escape out of here. Oh, there's actually a filter mask there. That's better than a, the dust mask, I think. I don't know if it's not got the thing in, though. It might not be actually that effective. Okay, again, I don't like being out in the sun, or not sun, but the light, you know. And let's see, is this, it says this is a computer console, um, a library. Now, I'm going to quit because I can't handle if something drops down at us. Like, it would seriously be the end of this character. Um, can I wear that sweatshirt? I'm just curious about my character's encumbrance. Yeah, it's, it's wear the sweatshirt. That'll give me a little bit more storage. A sweatshirt should have storage in it, right? Yeah, I kind of miss the messages of the psychosis messages that we got with Nosh. It kind of made things kind of interesting throughout the, the game. Oh, there's some boots. Um, oh, I've got hooves. Right. Forgot about my hooves. Oh, what is that? A tough zombie. Whoops. That's a mistake. He's gonna end up ruining the area for us now. Well, we've kind of exhausted a lot of our options in terms of where to go. We're gonna have to do some fighting soon. A pathetically low level character. Or we could teleport. But that does not seem like the smart move either. Oh, there's a security guard. Is he the only one? Um, I'm actually curious no, not that. Okay, so, oh, um, oh, hold on. No, that's the wrong one, too. 
Which one's for the mutations? This is... Here we go. Yeah, Ursine Vision is active. Okay, good. Good to know. Uh, that definitely thing saw me there. So if I look at this thing... Physically fit, uh... What is in here? Oh, that would be nice to have. That'd be really nice to have. Well, I guess we could fight this thing. Um, if I try and hit it with this, that is going to be interesting to see what happens here. Moves per attack, it's 500. I should just drop that then. That's He's going to get five attacks on me for every one I get on them. That seems like a bad move. Oh, well, I am. I am hitting them. Um, let's see, not doing a whole lot of damage. Yeah, and now I'm bleeding. That's what I thought. Yeah. I mean, we can do that. Oh, hold on. Oh, I killed one. <laughs> oh, I haven't played with Achievement Slon because I always... Yeah. Hold on. So if I want to get a band, something to stop the bleeding on my head. Hold on. Oh, there's a slime. How did that get made? Let's close that. Can I take those and rip them up? Or cut them up? I don't know. Can I? Yeah. Um, could not salvage a rag. An electric blanket. A pillow. Sure. Um, if I pick up a rag, can I... I think that I can turn that into like a first aid wrap or something. Like a bandage, right? Yeah, let's, let's do that. Make a makeshift bandage. See, there's stuff like that where it's like, if you don't know this game, good luck. Oh, well. That actually didn't even stop my bleeding. Let's make another one of those just in case. Actually, let's make two of them. Good things to have, I think. Is there a slime? Yeah. See a slime. Where's my friend? Here he is. He's got a two-way radio there. And those are good electronic pieces. Um... It requires a soldering iron, though, to actually disassemble it. Yeah, that's a shame. Let's smash you, and then we don't have to deal with that silly situation. And actually, that makes me feel like, okay, I can handle these security guards, so I now know that I can do that. Can I... Hold on, how much damage did we do on that last one? Kick them with your hooves. Oh! See the hooves right there. Those were what was doing damage. That's why I wanted the hooves. See, I like probably would have had a hard time killing him if it wasn't for those hooves of mine. <laughs> you know? Like in all honesty. Uh, there's something whacking that. What are you? A zombie scientist. Yeah, I feel like we can handle them. Maybe I'm getting overconfident, though. Security guard, come over here. Um, can I get out of that grab? Uh-oh. Mm. I do have my makeshift bandage. I'm just doing this really because I'm... I think that they're just regular zombies and we're totally doing fine. Oh no, I, did I get... I got bit. Okay, well now we need antiseptic. Great. That just changed the name of the game in terms of objectives. Oh man. More items here. Can I, can I see them? Yeah. Oh. oh, hold on. That's the wrong thing. Here we go. This this is a better view. If you 
And we could get the leather touring suit. That probably is not a half bad idea. I'm not sure if we should fall back, though, and look for things that would help with infections. I don't think I've seen anything, to be honest. And this isn't going to help with infections. And we could try and cauterize. I really don't want to do that, though. You gotta have something for me. I oh, you got pliers. You get a harmonica with the holder. Um, I need armor. We're gonna wear that. We're gonna wear this. And it's gonna encumber us significantly, but now we have some protection. And actually, hold on. Apply that one of our bandages. Stop the bleeding on our arm. Where is it? Did we use it up already? <laughs> I'm confused. Okay, well, the bleeding stopped, so whatever. What was this room that you guys just destroyed in here? Anything useful? Oh, there's an umbrella and some cigarettes. Well, you know what? I have, I have a cig. You might die of an infection here. It's the least that I can give you. <laughs> Man, an infection. Well, Bootsy, it was fun. But I really don't know if you're going to be able to pull this off. Because, I, I mean, we could cauterize, possibly. Because we do have an X-Acto knife. And I could try and cauterize it. But we're going to need a little fire or something. I think, honestly, that may be what we need to do. Because I don't see any other options for us right now. We'll try and find something a little bit longer. Um, that can't... I mean, sulfur, doesn't that cauterize? Don't people use that for cauterizing things? Use it to craft a flashlight? What? I'm confused. Oh, it's got the plastic bottle that could be used for the flashlight, I think is what I was saying. Alright. Cool. There's um, some upstairs there. And is this what I think it is? Is this the hallway with the with the turret in it? It's gonna shoot us. This is minus one, so I don't think it is. But it looks like it. Yeah, it really does. Looks a lot like the hallway that you don't wanna wait, hold on. I can't open these? Closed metal door? Locked? Is that what I think it is? Is that graffiti? A card reader? I mean, I have a card. Do I want to use it? I don't know, man. I think I'm going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.